Okay, we're back at the Maple New Sugar House in Hebron, New York, and we're with Bruce Gillen from Leader Evaporator. And Bruce, we're shutting down right now, and give us just a little tutorial on the proper way to shut down on a smaller rig anyway. Okay, what we want to do is we want to make sure we leave the evaporator at a shallower depth at the end of the day than our operating depth. And we're going to draw out some sweet off in this evaporator, and when the boil gets down to here, we're cool enough that we can draw that sweet off. So what I'm gonna do right now is draw some sweet off into a pail. The amount that I draw off is about the amount that the syrup compartment holds. And um, this size of aquary right here is gonna be about three quarters of a gallon. I'm drawing that off now because that's the sweetest of everything we have in the syrup pan. And that is gonna set in this pail until we start up next time and then that sweet will get dumped into what we call our syrup compartment the next time. On this evaporator, our lengthways compartment was our syrup compartment this time. Next time when we start up, it's gonna be our cross compartment. So this sweet will get dumped into that cross compartment when we start up next time, making the sweetest that we have right in that compartment. And then that way it'll come to syrup right there in that compartment and not somewhere else in the pan. And by leaving the pan a little shallower than our operating depth when we start up next time, as soon as we start up, we'll open up the valve. The float will allow liquid to come in and it'll push the rest of the sweet right around to our syrup compartment for us. Rather than being too deep and it just sets there and boils and mixes all the time. That's why we're doing this. Very good. Thanks, Bruce. Welcome.